How's it going, boys and girls? mmk 9 Bro here. Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake. When we last left off, we just beat, we just punched the doctor in the face, and now we're gonna rent a cabin after we told Barry about what happened. So, without further ado, let's get back to plan. Jeez, Mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl, and more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was Crazy. very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? Well, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do and you everything's understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong, it's a good story, could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is gonna be okay. He got lucky. Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. The form's on the desk across from the mammoth skeleton. Okay. Seriously, okay, boy. Al, We're you almost can't done just here. go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. You already She's did. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing. It... Listen. You hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Okay. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? <laughs> oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Okay. Oh, and hey, if you take a walk in the woods, watch your steps so you don't end up like Max. I okay. guess I'm a little worried. We got a bunch of campers out there we haven't heard from. It's not like these people are on a schedule, but with the traps, well, you know. I just don't want any trouble. Right. Thanks. All right, let's get to the... Look, Al, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went, poof, into thin air, poof. a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms. Strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me then. Al, come on. I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. What would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight with a gun. No one asked you to come here, Barry. Either work with me on this or go straight back to New York. Your choice. Uh-huh. All right, let's go to the cabin. Crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. 
This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Achoo! Achoo! Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Achoo! You know, Barry, I, I'm i sorry, but I'm going to troll with you right now. You're supposed to have the lights on, but I'm turning it off because you're being a bitch. I should call you Bitch Barry. Oh, wrong way. I'll wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. Locking the door now. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, bitch, Barry. It's a nice car. Shame I can't drive it. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. I just realized I'm probably going to die a lot if I'm playing this on Nightmare Difficulty, which I am pretty sure I am. Those birds do not sound happy. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your deer fest plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seem to manage. <laughs> what was that? Uh, no plan, really. Just taking the atmosphere. I'm getting a little too rickety to do much more than that, you know. Oh, tell me about it. No sack race for us older gentlemen, huh? <laughs> yes, exactly that. But I'm gonna check out the parade, of course. And I'll be one of the pie contest judges, too. Ooh. Uh, well, that takes a different kind of constitution. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's my kind of exercise. Now, oh, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good shape, though. You're the outdoors type. I, I know for a fact you're an avid fisherman. That's right. Matter of fact, just caught a heck of a large mouth bass early this morning. Nice. But you're not taking part in the fishing contest? No, no, not this year. Um, see, Pat, I'm just not that competitive anymore. Now I just like to take my time and enjoy the peace of it. It's no fun if I need to worry about what I'm catching, you know? Well, <laughs> considering your track record, the participants are probably pretty happy you feel that way. <laughs> well, Pat, that's kind of you to say. time do I got left? Oh crap. Not a lot of time. Oh well. Hadouken. I'll just... I don't know what I'm gonna do. Crime and punishment. The cancer and cure of civilization. But some crimes are impossible to punish. Especially in, in Night Springs. Springs. Tonight's episode The Man in the Mirror. He's inside, Agent. He 
he's a weird one. So, you're confessing to killing that guy, huh? Why? And it coming? Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took a kid to a soccer game. So how come at the game, you pick a guy and, quoting from the arresting officer's report here, assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists? Wow. That sentence really flows, huh? Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess him up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face? Well, you must have hated it, because you really went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him either. That must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh, how about that? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. But the white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. You won't get away with this. Do you really think that's in any way relevant to me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? <laughs> I left my mark. Believe me. You! You bastard! What? You gonna shoot me? What's the point? I'm going to prison. You got me. I... I don't understand any of this. And you never will. Don't worry. Maybe you'll see me again, Agent. Maybe in the mirror. That was a good episode. I'm staring at my hand in the mirror. <laughs> Fallen rock zone. I look in here. on that page I found came true it knew so dark it'll come back for me you must the lights in the office I have the key okay Rusty hang on I'll be right back whatever did this couldn't be far Rusty had found a page staying good boy it would help me understand what had happened The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Um, the keyhole was up there. I'll let that slide, Alan Wake, because you're a magician. I'll take those. I was too oh, late. No. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Rusty! 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 
That is not good. Alright, we shall find out what happened to him next time, guys. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to try and make it a cliffhanger, but it's probably a failed attempt now since I mentioned it was a cliffhanger. But, uh, see you guys next time. Next time we're going to find out what happened to Rusty. So till next time, guys, till next time.